How many of you guys want to travel after graduation? <gasps> well, there's no better place than Washington. Uh, let me tell you a little about it. There's a lot of different lifestyles in Washington. There's city lifestyles, suburbs, and even country lifestyles. Uh, this is a great place to visit because it has amazing scenery. There's a lot to do, and it's just a really great place to consider. Oh, whoops. To start my countdown on number five, I have the eight caves. The eight caves were created 2,000 years ago from lava that flowed down the side of the south side of Mount St. Helens. And when the eruption happened in 1980, the lava remained hot and created this lava tube, which has resulted in the ape caves. And the ape caves are significant to me because it was about an hour from my first community college that I went to. And there's two different ways up the cave, or there's one way up the cave and then you exit out and have to climb up the top of the cave to get out and then you hike down the hill. Or you can start at the hill and hike up and then go down through the cave. So I thought that was pretty cool <coughs> about the eight caves. Uh, number four on our countdown continuing on is Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, this is one of the best sceneries in Washington by far. And this isn't actually at the park. This picture was taken at uh, Lake Taps, which is about 100 plus miles away. So this is at my buddy's lake house. But at the National Park, there's museums. There's trails you can hike. There's a railroad ride that can tour you around uh, Mount Rainier. Uh, next on my countdown, we have uh, Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington is a great place because you're right on the river. You're right on, you're 10 minutes from Portland. And that's a cool thing because I lived in Vancouver for two years and I was 10 minutes from Portland being able to go tax free shopping whenever I wanted. And the cool thing about Vancouver was it was split into four different sections. There was Battleground, Brush Prairie, uh, Salmon Creek, and then a rich area that I forgot the name of. But those are like all different kind of lifestyles. Like Battleground was country lifestyle, uh, where my cousins lived in uh, Salmon Creek was like the really nice like urban area, city lifestyle. And that's what I thought was really cool about Van Vancouver. It was really diverse. There's a lot going on down there, a lot to do. And being that close to Oregon, just a positive. On to our number two spot is Tacoma, Washington. Uh, I played baseball 10 minutes away from Tacoma. And I turned 21 uh, the year I lived there. So I got to really enjoy the nightlife in downtown Tacoma. There's a lot of bars you can go to. And this is Rustin Way, which is like the waterfront area in Tacoma. And uh, according to Kate Martin of the Tacoma News Tribune, Point Rustin is a 1.2 billion waterfront project. And this is what it was at when I left. And this quote that I just quoted was about a year ago. So the project's almost done. And when I was there this summer, it has an amazing view of Mount Rainier. And Tacoma is just a great spot to be at, especially when you're young. And our final spot on the top five is Seattle, Washington. Uh, Seattle is very diverse. There's a lot going on. There's a nice nightlife, sport. It's a very sport-like city, very loud, entertaining. Um, according to Linda Shaw from Seattle Times, she quotes, three years ago, the amount of energy fans generated at Lynch's 67-yard touchdown against New Orleans was registered on a seismometer about a block from CenturyLink. It became known as the Beast Quake, meaning Seattle is a very loud sport environment. And another big part about Seattle is the Space Needle, something that everybody knows about. And Pike Place Market is one of like the biggest tourist attractions. There's stores, there's a big fish market. If you ever watch a game on Seattle, they usually use move the commercial to them throwing the fish. And that's kind of the big thing in Seattle. <laughs> and this is my bibliography. And in conclusion, let's recap. You know, in five I had the eight caves. Four I had Mount Rainier National Park. Three I had Vancouver, Washington. Two, I had Tacoma, and number one was Seattle. 
each of these places are very significant to me as I took half those pictures or was in half those pictures. And if you ever have a chance to come visit Washington, do it. It's a great experience. Thank you.